Hello, greetings. In my last video I showed this hand wheel and the parallel port variant. So IE connected via the parallel port and... Of course, there is the question if the machine itself already has many pins of the parallel port. Here. Occupies then. At the point where I can't plug it in because I'm just running out of iOS. So I'm running out of inputs and outputs. How can I extend this and how easy does it work? Namely you take a parallel port card and this. You plug in. PC I have now here a simple variant. Which provides me with a parallel port here, so to speak. The whole thing is executed as PCI. Is also available as PCI Express and ISA and what should that be called? <laughs> Nevertheless, we are priced here like this. I say at 10, 0, 0 euro yes, there are also tickets for 20, 0, 0 euro and some for 5. I say round about 10 euros you can buy such a card, and yes, you just put it in the PC. And let's see what happens, or how easy it is to use them. So I'm looking for a free PCI slot. Plug in the card, and then I'll just set the system up again. So the question is just like this. Now I can get it in. As I said, the card is coming in here now, and let's see if I can show it to you. Now I have next to the normal parallel port, I now have a second one down here. To which I can connect things, so to speak. I'm just going to rewire the whole thing. We'll see you again in a moment. And then let's look at it on the surface. In Linux CNC, how can I access this extra parallel port? So what do I have to do so that I activate it and so that I can see and use the iOS and Linux CNC as well? So, the machine is now started. I.e. the one the computer is connected. And now there are two ways to use this parallel port in your machine. If you the used to configure your parallel port machine. Then of course you can pull it back here and open your configuration here and then finally one here. Make a selection that says I now have two parallel ports. So you see I don't have to install a driver or anything. I'm just going to choose here. I have a second parallel port now I'm going to move on. Here I see the first one, which I have already configured with my step towards signals reference switch spindle and so on. After all, if I take it a step further, I see the second parallel port here and now I can link more inputs and outputs here. I'm not going to do that now. The consequence is actually that. I'll show you that in the machine file. Here, so to speak, a second parallel port is loaded. So we see here the command. Load me a parallel port the first one. Let's see the first parallel port which is the zero. And it is used as an out variant. There is also the second way to use the parallel port. That you have more inputs, but that's important here. He has written an additional command behind it, so to speak. Namely the next parallel port in the system with the same configuration and then of course there is nor the functions that are written to the servo thread and base read for the parallel port. As we have learned, it is of course in the base thread. That's what the configuration wizard would do. So he would, so to speak, first of all initially change the lines here and add so. That the next parallel port. So here with the one can also be used. I haven't completed this config wizard now because I already have my hand wheel on it and just want to show you that how easy it is so you put the card into the PC and can actually get started right away I'm just going to try to start the machine now and I'll show you so I've got to need out of here now of course this is due to the fact that that I don't have anything on here yet So, we see, now the hand wheel is also lit up. Let's click there. So, now the hand wheel lights up. 
I still have a note off though. Here you can see that on the hand wheel, so to speak, the need out. Linked. Now it's interesting, because it's not supposed to be about the hand wheel. But it should. Ultimately, it's all about the parallel bot. If I show everywhere, I can see the parallel port. Then you see that an expansion has taken place here. So we have all our XYZ stories here on parallel port 0. So these motion stories linked and here the parallel port 1. That's far reaching and used. I've only used a few pins now to connect the hand wheel. But you see, at the end of the day, these are the same spellings. We have an a few port point and then here pin one out. It's the same for this next power port, but it has some indexing here. Yes, so you have to imagine it starts at zero. That's the one in the system. And if I want to use more par ports pins from the other one, then it's the same notation, except that here the index jumps to one. If I had another card, I can also add a third card. Then the third card here would be marked with the number two. I just have to write it in the HAL, so to speak. That the port, i.e. the parallel port, is loaded. That's what we did, we just have the zero and also the one by default, so to speak. So, and if I now press here. Watch. And take it from me. I'm not sure. I'll take a few pins. Now let's see. The whole thing is, of course, serial. But you see. It is on this parallel port that the signals depend. I might as well try now. We'll do it differently, and we'll take the pin 15 no. It's already occupied. I'll have to take a quick look. The pin 15 is free. I can now take a wire jumper here and try this pin 15 times. Steam this pin 15 times. That's an entrance. So I'm going to connect the cable to pin 15 here. So, now all I have to do is look, UPS. Now I have to see if I have to drag the whole thing to GND. Yes, so you see, I can now use pin 15 here. I.e. the parallel port itself works. Otherwise, my hand wheel wouldn't work either. Yes, it's as simple as that. I know, I'll tell you. With a 10 euro card, to expand the output area. I take the card, plug it into the PC, boot everything up, take the configuration wizard, select there that I have two parallel ports and can then link it, so to speak. These pins or I'll go into the HAL and write their piece by piece the commands in that are needed. Parallel. The additional one is also activated. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I say goodbye until the next video.